Hey, how y'all doing? Is the fall of the year and a good time to do a soil test? You know, I like to keep things simple. And the folks over at uh, Soil Savvy fit the bill. All you need to add to the kit is your soil. Just like cooking, the better the ingredients, the better the result. And what I mean by that is, you just don't go out there and get a handful of dirt, put it in a container, and send it off. What you want to do is get an average over the garden. If you've got a small garden, get a sample from, say, three different areas in the garden. Mix it all together, and that'll give you a good average. If you have a large garden, you may want to get a sample from five, six, or more different areas. Dig down five or six inches. Get your sample, put it in a container, move on to the next spot. You want to get down in that root zone where those nutrients really need to be. If you have any foreign matter in there, plant material, get it out. Either pick it out with your fingers, run it through a screen. You want as, as pure a soil sample as you can get. Inside, first thing you'll find is the card. The top of the card you fill out with the information that you're going to send off with your sample. The bottom half you keep because you need to have the barcode number if you're going to go check out your results on their website. I was to keep this one you send off. You'll also have a container to put your soil sample in and a little scoop that you're going to fill to the very top, a level scoop full. And a postage paid return envelope to send your sample off. On the little container, that comes with the kit, you have a barcode. In fact, you have two of them. Half of it you leave on the sample, the other half you keep, peel it off, and stick it on the part of the card that you're gonna keep. You need that number. Be careful when you open the container because it has some liquid inside. Let's open this up real carefully. Take our little scoop full of soil, add it to the cup, secure the top back on, and that's it. Put the card in that goes back to them. Put your sample in there. Let's see if we can do this and get a good seal. And that's it. Good to go to the post office. Well, the results are in, and it's not looking that bad. 
The first thing that caught my attention was the phosphorus, the second column, the P. It will take some time, but that can be corrected. Two things I can do. When I do use fertilizer, is use an NPK with a P of zero. No phosphorus. And the second thing is not add any manure to the raised beds. Once I get the phosphorus down, the iron and zinc will be more available to the plants. Overall, I think I'm in pretty good shape. The second page of the results tells you what the soil components are and what role they play in the plant's health. Pretty good information. Going back to the first page of the results, if you look at the very top, had I needed to add fertilizer, it would have given me the analysis to use and how much of it to put out for every 100 square feet of garden. That makes things simple. Takes all the guesswork out. If you've been putting off doing a soil test, give Saul Savvy a shot. I think you'll be impressed. Well, hope this was helpful and Lashpah!